In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a book down project in our studio and how to commit that project to GitHub so that you can view it as a website. The easiest way to begin a book down project is to create it as a new uh, project in our studio. So here I'm in our studio and I click on this project and I'll say a new project and I'll start a new project in a new directory and if I come down here then there's a template for a book project using Bookdown. So I'll click this and I'll save this where I want it to be and I'll call this test uh, book down project create that project and this creates all the files that are necessary to build the book down website now that we have our book down website created with the template files we can start our git repository in this location so if I come to the terminal for my test book down project I can type git init and then all of the files in here I can add to that repository so I'm going to say git add everything git commit commit message initial book down template and now all these files have been committed to git there are a couple of settings that we need to change from the template book down book project uh, that will make it easier for us to work with the websites that we want to build. Um, the first of these is we can find these in the output.yaml file. And this, this file configures how the output of the book down uh, project gets made. Um, as you can see, there are three different outputs by default. The first is a git book website. The second is a PDF of the book made with LaTeX. And the third is an EPUB um, that would work as a, uh, a, in an ebook reader like, like Kindle. Uh, for the purposes of this project, it'll be easier if we just remove those last two options so that when we run the code, when we, when we build the website, it will just create the website and not try to create those other two documents. The second thing we want to do is in the bookdown.yaml file, we want to change where the output files for the website get placed. So we're going to do that by coming in here and putting output underscore dear docs. Save that. And now if we come and look at our git status, we should have those two files changed. So we will add those two files. And we'll commit them uh, and say change book down output defaults. Now that we have changed the output format, we can uh, go ahead and build the book. So in our studio, you'll have this tab called build. And if you come to it, there's a button called build book. And when you run it, all the R markdown and R code that's in the book is executed and RStudio produces this website. Um, and you, there's a table of contents down the left side. Um, there's an, a search index that's automatically created for you. And yeah, this is what it looks like. The, when that happens, two folders get added to this to this folder to this directory the first is book down files and this has the compiled images that the R code creates so if your R code creates any plots or figures they get uh, the files for those figures get put in this now because the R code is in the R markdown file you don't need to commit the image files so I'm going to add this folder to the git ignore And then 
I'll make that commit get add dot get ignore there's also this packages dot bib file that was created and that is a list of the packages that get cited in the R markdown code and we can go ahead and add that one also um, Actually, let's not add that and keep our repository clean. Um, git commit ignore book down files created on build. Okay, now we have this. Now we have two files left. The packages.bib, which we just mentioned, and we'll add that in, in a moment. Um, the second thing is this docs folder. And if you look in the docs folder, you'll see it looks very similar to the uh, home folder, except all the R markdowns have been turned into HTML pages. So the index HTML, we can open it in an editor and see the raw HTML that gets created. We can also open it in um, a web browser if we were to choose to. But we're gonna, we're going to add these files to Git. Um, I will say build initial website. Oh, didn't add anything. Git add docs. Git commit m build. Build initial website. Okay, and that's all done. The next thing we need to do is we need to create the repository on GitHub so that we have something to push to. So I'm going to create a new repository and I'm going to commit it under my own name and I'll call it test book down project. Uh, an example book down project. I'll make it uh, public, but I don't want to initialize the repository at all. I just want to create an empty repository. So let me do that. And now GitHub has this uh, set of instructions and we want to, what we want to do is we want to push an existing repository from the command line. So we have an existing repository here in our studio and we're going to push it to this place. So I'm going to come back here to my terminal and I'll add those two lines to add the remote. So add the origin that I've created on GitHub as the remote and I'm going to push the master branch to that origin. And that's pushed. So when we come back to GitHub, we will now see that we have our uh, file in here. We also have this folder called docs. And if you come in here to settings, there's an option down at the bottom to set up GitHub pages. And you can read the documentation for it here, but we wanna say, we're gonna show this from the master branch docs folder. And it may take a minute to build but if you were to come to your username slash the name of your repository, test book down project, you'll see the same website that you created um, is now on the internet for anyone to look at.